Hey guys, I recently just did a TED talk and I've been reading the comments that you guys have put under there. I want to take some time to kind of debunk some of these myths on testosterone, the hidden key. All right, here's myth number one. Does estrogen cause breast cancer? And the answer to that is no. Estrogen and progesterone taken together have shown that it will increase the risk of breast cancer. This was based off of a study back in 2006 that was the WHI study. In that study, they saw that women that were taking both estrogen and progesterone had an increased risk of breast cancer. When the women in that same group that were just taking estrogen, they actually saw that they had less breast cancer. So estrogen by itself does not cause breast cancer. And the other part of it is that 80% of the women who develop breast cancer around the globe have never had contact with hormone replacement. All right, myth buster number two. Does testosterone cause prostate cancer? A little bit more difficult to nail this one down. There's an old study about 60 years old by Hodges and Huggins that looked at this issue. And this has been the basis for years on whether or not people would get testosterone therapy. And the reality is, is that they found out that once a certain amount of testosterone is in your system, you can't get more to hit these receptors. So because of this, there is a move towards understanding that testosterone itself is not the reason why men are dealing with prostate cancer. We still have to be careful when it comes to treating men who have already been diagnosed with prostate cancer, but the answer to that particular myth buster is uh, probably not. All right, myth buster number three, and this one is going to cause all kinds of issues. Can you raise your testosterone just by diet and exercise? Okay, there was a study out of Norway that looked at this. I know you're like way over there, but what they did is they took six guys that were all physically fit and they had them exercise. They took their testosterone before they got started, right after they finished, at two hours, four hours, six hours, and then the next morning. Here's what they found. The testosterone would bump up during your workout and then come right back down to your baseline. So the answer to this one is yes and no. Your testosterone does go up during your workout, but will you take somebody whose testosterone is 300 and make it a thousand just by them exercising? The answer is no. You can change your life and work on your diet and exercise so that you trim down. You will start to see some changes in your testosterone levels. But here is the fact, as your testicles get old, they get old. That's just what happens to them. And so in the long run, there is gonna be some guys that are going to need some testosterone replacement if they want their numbers to be up around that 800 or 1,000 like they were when they're in their 19s, 20s, and 21s. All right, those are my three myth busters. Hopefully this was educational for you. If you wanna get in touch with us, you can reach us on our Facebook page, our Instagram page. You can hit our website below. Um, we look forward to hearing from you. You can always reach us at any point in time.